Today I'm going to show you how to make this umbrella in Illustrator, so let's get started. So here in Illustrator, I've got two layers right now. The layer two background layer is currently a, I don't know what color that is, like dark teal. And I have nothing on my layer one, but I will get the ellipse tool, turn the fill off, turn the stroke to black or whatever color you choose to use. And I have set the stroke weight to four points. I'm going to drag out an ellipse right now that looks about like that. It's about that size. Let's align it to the artboard horizontal line center. And um, go back to our ellipse tool with the same settings we used before. And we're going to drag out one ellipse right there like so. And then I'm going to, with that selected, hold option and make sure that pink line stays uh, straight like that so that we make sure when we release that copy that we made that it is aligned perfectly. Let's hit Command D to repeat that step. So now we have four uh, additional ellipses. And what we're going to do with these is basically like kind of cut them in half in a way and use these little curves right up top where they're like forming a point to um, make our umbrella. All right, so I'm going to group them. So select them all and then just hit either Command G or with this little toolbar that's down here, uh, you just hit group. And I'm going to drag them to about, I'm just visually looking at the top part and the way these little um, arcs, I guess you could say, are forming. Um, because that's basically going to be the shape of the umbrella. I could um, squash them in a little more if I want certain like edges to like this corner of the umbrella to be more sharp, I guess you could say. Um, now by doing so, it's not necessarily perfectly centered. So again, let's just center to the uh, artboard perfectly there. And I, that, that should work. We're going to basically get rid of these bottom parts. So select them all, get the shape builder tool. If your toolbar is not open to advanced, go to window toolbars, change it from basic to advanced. You always want to stay in that mode. And let's hold the option key and we're going to click and drag to get rid of these. So those have been deleted. Now you can kind of see what's happening here is the top part of the umbrella has formed. I'm going to select this, then go to my direct selection tool and this top anchor right here, I'm going to click on it one time and with my up arrow on my keyboard, I'm just going to nudge it up some. I could hold shift to make it go quicker. So shift and up and now it's kind of um, a little bit better looking in my opinion. So with that part done, I want to go ahead and get my pin tool again, just the stroke, no fill. The stroke is set to four, just like all these um, on this part of the umbrella. But let's try to keep it centered. And by doing so, that pink line is helping guide us. So let's click once there. And we're going to... Oh, sorry, my mouse is going crazy. Uh, we're going to drag it to whatever we feel comfortable with. I think right there is fine for me. Then I'm going to drag this handle part out and up. Now, if I do not hit return, I'm going to be stuck with this. So I'm going to hit return, and now we've completed that um, that pin tool shape that we just made, or that path has been completed. So let's get our direct selection tool, get the bottom parts, and you see these little circles. If we hover over them, let's curve them in by dragging, and now we've got that little point. Another thing we can do to make this look a little bit more interesting is with our stroke panel, um, selected over here. These end caps, right now it's set to a butt cap, but let's change it to a round cap. And um, I should probably zoom in so you can kind of see the difference. So this is a round cap. And um, if I had selected butt cap, that's it right there. It's just like a flat line. And then you have another option of a projecting cap. But um, let's go with the round cap for that, just to, you know, make it look a little bit better. You know, everything's in the details. So do your best to try to take your time when you're creating things and make it good. So one other thing we need to do, we're going to basically make these curved lines right here to um, help 
this top part of the umbrella. So if you look under the line segment, click and hold, you'll get the arc tool and the arc tool is gonna allow us to make those curves pretty easy. So I'm gonna click one time at this anchor and actually not click, I'm gonna click hold and drag and now it'll kind of snap up here and that's what I want and then I'll release. Same thing here, click, hold and drag and then release. And so now we've created basically the umbrella but we want to color it and we want to um, clean up any little problems we might have so first thing I'll do is let's go ahead and color it so we'll get this um, we'll get our direct selection tool select this point or all, all these little I don't even know what it is the top of the umbrella and get the shape builder tool and you can see we could apply um, color here. Now, what colors you choose is up to you. I'm gonna go with some dark purples, I guess. So I'll go ahead and do that by getting my color picker. And we'll start with that one and put it there. And then let's also put it there. And I wanna try to make some darker purples for the other two remaining spots. And so just like that, we created the um, colors. So I want to get rid of the stroke though because I think it looks bad um, for the little top part. So now we've done that. You might see some, there might be some excess like little things you need to clean up. Like if you look around here, I've got that little dot right there from a stroke. I can click on it with my direct selection tool and just simply delete them. I've got another one over here. I'll simply delete those. And you can see like this is not I mean, it, it doesn't look right right here, this bottom part. So I'm gonna click that, nudge it up, but you can see it's still like kind of sandwiched in between those two shapes. So let's click on it and then right click, arrange, send to back. Once we've done that, now it looks much more clean. Same thing with this top one. Let's select it, right click, arrange, send to back. So I'm gonna actually bring this one down a little bit too. So that's much more clean. Everything looks great there. I'll zoom back out. And now you've created an umbrella and we can group this whole thing. Uh, select it all and hit that group or command G option. So just like that, you created an umbrella using the shape builder tool and applying colors. So hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.